Well guys, uh, you're back here with old Barry, and um, I'll tell you what I did. I went to three different tire stores uh, in the city of Nagua. Nagua is about 115,000 people. There's a lot of good uh, trades there. Uh, building supplies, textiles, uh, materials, uh, automotive, both parts and service. There is full diagnostic service there in terms of troubleshooting. So it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good from that. So I went over there to, I know Nagua pretty well, and uh, I went over there and uh, three different shops. And of course, uh, I priced uh, various things. And uh, I did price Kumo, which was on there last time, and I was really satisfied with that. Not that this video is a tire review, but I'm just telling you about shopping and trying to give you some ideas here so you maybe get better value. Okay, and they had BAF Goodrich and uh, Firestone, and also a tire called Black Lion, which I haven't been in the tire uh, I'm no expert on them, but I decided, I'm, as I would with anything, you want to look up prices in America. Not so much, uh, well, partly for a comparison, obviously, uh, to see, but if you also know that, um, let's say you're shopping two different brands of tires at two different places, if you want a little back, back tip on how to find out the profit ratio on it, uh, key up both different brands from the different dealers. Always ask for your estimate in writing, you know, and, you know, and, uh, Try to use as limited Spanish as you can because you want to find out is this going to be someone you want to trust uh, in the future because you don't want to have to go through this all the time. Okay, so what I do is I go on the internet, I see what he's got. This one's got Kumo, this one's got uh, BF Goodrich, and uh, then I found one Black Lion, which uh, comes out of uh, Japan, I believe. Anyway, uh, I did go on their website, but I also went on to a couple others like, uh, you know, big tire warehouses in Florida that just sell the tires on a pallet and, you know, you pay for installation and balancing and things like that after. That was a thing I looked at too. So anyway, uh, I got familiar with Black Lion, found out in America and customer review. They're one of the biggest uh, tire manufacturers uh, that there are, that there is rather. And it was actually a uh, hundred, uh, one uh, digit higher on its uh, tread uh, rating than my Kumos, which I was satisfied with. And so they advertise it as a 60,000 mile tire. If your car, of course, is aligned and balanced and rotated, the tires. Anyway, um, I, I looked at a lot of customer reviews and they were quite favorable. Uh, plus the DOT, Department of Transportation ratings were on the tire, obviously. And uh, I double checked them, and they were uh, they were substantially they were up there as far as quality. So they had the best price. So that's what I went with. What you go with is your choice. Anyway, I got four uh, five ply, so it's and uh, installed and balanced. And uh, Leanne's going to slip in a bunch of pictures. I know. Guys, I know it's just a tire store. I'm just trying to get a message across about for people that live here. That's all. It's not okay. So it has the Hunter computer balancing, and if you want the Hunter computer alignment, it's got more or less the same equipment you're going to find in any reasonable tire shop. And I got the whole thing done. It took about an hour and a half. They were finishing up a car before me, and uh, it's outdoors. There's no no fancy waiting rooms and air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. That's how it goes here. So anyway, to make a long story short. Um, I ended up paying 15,000 pesos uh, for four tires installed, balanced, and I left in my old ones. I could have, they had a little tread left, but you know, I didn't want them. So um, if you're doing your calculations, the best deal I came up with shopping three different stores is 15,000 pesos. Like I said, installed, balanced, well, convert that right now, uh, we're, I believe at uh, 48 Point three, so the dollar's been getting stronger a little bit, and uh, actually the peso's been getting weaker. The dollar hasn't been getting stronger when you compare it to reserve currencies. I mean, to uh, currencies that are uh, base, not floating. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, so the peso is getting weaker. That helps people that get their money from foreign uh, foreign currencies receive them in foreign currencies. But anyway, it came out to about three hundred and eleven dollars. U.S. dollars, of course, 
So that's what I got. Okay, uh, Leanne's going to put up the receipt. Uh, I'm going to put up the guy's card. Um, he don't speak a word of English, though. But if, if you want any, uh, I'm not here to shop tires for you, but I am saying if you gave me your name on an email, I'll forward it to him, and, and he'll be giving you, you know, a fair price. And I'm not saying he wouldn't do it without it. Uh, if I didn't get a, a feeling that the guy was sincere, I, I wouldn't have bought there to begin with. That's a red flag, right? So, duh. But uh, also, uh, I try to help local business a lot, and, and being here for so many years in, in this little region, the, the people at rent cars and restaurants and, and tire stores and mechanics, they know that. So I'm not saying it means anything, but they know one or two people with a bad word, they're going to lose a lot of referrals, and uh, we don't ask nothing of it. It's a good way to give back to the community. So anyway, uh, not saying I ain't nobody special, but I'm saying that's what my deal is. Uh, $310 and change, U.S. dollars, and um, I did look at that, and I'm going to tell you something before I close off, and this is another key point I, I think you should understand. There's different duties and different trade agreements with every country. Find out what's in place with the country you're living in, okay? If you're visiting for a month, yeah, if you're living here, okay? Uh, for example, you take a look at scooters and whatever. Look up the brands. Look up what they're selling. You can't touch these scooters for near double the price in America. Canada, where I'm from, whoa, it's like three times the price. Australia was pretty close to three times the price too. On the same scooters, okay? Um, I believe CV something or whatever, it's not important. But the point is, what is important is they have a trade agreement with that company, okay? So the duties are all but nil. So where you're getting a brand new uh, uh, 125 scooter or something like that, you know, for around eleven five, you know, eleven hundred and fifty dollars. That's not eleven thousand, eleven hundred and fifty. Try and match the same brand in America, or Australia, or Canada, wherever you're from. You're going to find it's going to be more expensive, and that's because of international duties. Volume plays something in business. Also, political agreements and tax and duty waivers pay a huge, a far more substantial. So, rounding up this overrun video already, but I'm trying to be a source of information here, not, you know, um, the best price I found, I believe, was $97 in uh, some place called Tire Warehouse, Tire something in, uh, in Miami. I shopped three or four, that's all. I'm not gonna spend all day doing this. And, uh, that was the best price I can get. Now, I'm going to tell you why it was more expensive. Certainly, they buy more tires in this country. The point is, factor in rent. They're paying a fortune for it per square foot in America. Factor in air conditioning. Factor in what America makes you do in Canada right now. I'm not up on Australia, forgive me, but America and Canada for insurance, both on your customer and both on your staff. You start factoring in the wages, okay? And you start factoring in everything. It's, it, they have technically a better price on a net basis. This guy in, in Nagua made more profit than they would. They're gonna make it up by volume. But the point I'm trying to say is I couldn't get the tire on the pallet sh without shipping. Then I'd have to pay for the duty. Then I'd have to pay for installation and balance. I couldn't even buy the bare tire for the price I, I got these at, not even close. So use that also for, you see, moving a country is extremely expensive, any country, but it's a one-time, okay, one-time expense. You gotta look at annual expenses, reoccurring, health insurance, food costs, yada, 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 utilities. Average that out, and you're gonna start seeing, uh, yeah, then it is a fair cost to month uh, ratio especially when you compare it to Canada and U.S. and Australia. So uh, most of Europe, too, because actually Europe's very expensive. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off because I want to enjoy a little bit of this uh, long weekend Monday here. And uh, right now, on late Saturday afternoon, got some chores to do. And tomorrow we're going out with some personal friends, uh, two different couples. And uh, we'll talk to you on the next video. You can expect to see a string of them, though, on different subjects. And if there's any subject that you'd like me to cover, gosh, just subscribe and write it on in or just write it on in on the comment. And 
I ain't saying I'll know the answer. Chances are I'll know somebody who knows, but I'm not saying I will, uh, but I'll be sure to get back to you. And if there's something, uh, you know, that's not, uh, if there's something you'd like us to cover, just jot it down too, and, and quite possibly we'll delve into that subject for you. Uh, it's all about information, guys. It's not about good, bad. It's uh, nothing's black or white. Everything in this planet's a various shade of gray. So until next time, this is Barry and DR. We'll talk to you soon.